Welcome back! My name is Amir and in this video we're gonna see all the important types of nodes and how to work with them. Now that we constructed a couple examples of logic created through visual scripting, let's dive a bit deeper about the different types of nodes that you may interact with when creating a lens logic. The good news is that you've already played around with some of these types of nodes. For example, we already talked about initialize, update, or mouth event nodes. Everything in the script graph starts with the event node. The events nodes are colored as orange so it will be easy to find when you have lots of nodes. As we explained in the previous video, we create an interaction by connecting nodes together. Nodes can have an input connection, output connection, or both connection at the same time. With that said, event nodes have one main execution output connection, which is where you connect what should happen in the response to that event. To better understand the events and execution, we can imagine a baseball player throwing around the baseball. When a player has the ball, they do some specific task. When they're done with the task, they throw the ball to the next player. The execution line is like each node passing the ball to the next one. Events nodes are like a player who starts with the ball and kick off the whole process by throwing it to the next player. Like before, we can add the event node by right clicking in the grid part and select add node from library or hitting the tab on the keyboard. Then we can search for events. All the item in this list with the bell icon is an event node. For example, we can find the mouth open event, click on it and now you have it in your graph. Now let's talk about input nodes. In the previous video, we manipulate the text displayed on the screen. To do this, we need a reference to the text. In other words, this text is an input for our graph. You can access or get reference of any object in the Lens Studio using input node. These nodes are colored as purple. To add an input node for scene object, we simply hit tap on the keyboard and search for scene object input. Click on it, and now you have it in your graph. This node is the same as the event node which has one main output connection. For those who have used JavaScript based logic, this is similar to the add input comment that you would write. This node is very similar to input node, but instead of getting an input from something in the objects panel, this node allows you to get reference from any assets in the resources panel. The best way to add a reference node is select your assets in the resources panel and then drag and drop the assets from the resources panel into the script graph grid area. This will automatically create the asset reference for us. Also, these nodes are color same as the input node, which is purple. Most lenses have some logic behind it. For example, a lens that counts how many times a user opened their mouth. These lens logic are typically made to manipulate the data. The data that we manipulate are usually stored as variable. Variable live in the right section of the script graph. Variable are there to identify the type of data that they contain. For example, they can contain number or a text that we call string. Or it can be as simple as true and false which we call bool. You can simply add variable by clicking on add variable button and select the data that you want to manipulate. To get the data from this variable, of course you need nodes. If you want to get data from this variable, you can use the get variable node. Or if you want to set the data to this variable, simply add set variable node. Amazing! Now that we know some of the important nodes, we can start creating logic for our lenses. Thanks for watching! Oh,